All right, sorry, y'all. It didn't work. Never mind. I'm back. I ain't going nowhere. I'm right now. There you go. There you go. What the fuck you mean couldn't share? Oh, because you can't say the same thing twice. Okay. <laughs> So it is now 11 o'clock and an officer from Pine Lawn just got into his vehicle and told everybody that they would be forced to uh, disperse at 11 o'clock and if they did not disperse at 11 o'clock they were subject to arrest. Uh, City Council member uh, Patricia Hines was stated that uh, there is a noise ordinance uh, and not a curfew. Uh, she's walking with a bullpen right now. Uh, I don't know what's... What is he saying? He's saying start dispersing, start dispersing. <coughs> so now you can hear in the background, well I can hear, I don't know if you can on the stream, but uh, they have called out uh, response for more officers from surrounding areas to come. And uh, I do hear sirens in the background. I'm not well, they just, all I know is that officer right there just told me if I stay on the sidewalk and film that I will be fine. So I don't know. Okay. You see the dude with the blue hat. Yeah, 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 he's on the phone. Yeah, he's got a full beard. That's the food dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's him, you tell us? Oh, they saying they're not dispersing until they release the people that they took when and without bond. Some people are saying I'm not negotiating shit. <laughs> I like whoever said that, I'm sorry. I respect your mind. <laughs> they saying we have the right to assemble. This one right here looked like he just ready to whip somebody ass. Like, I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> they said we want the black people and the white people. We want all of them. Basically, they are demanding release of people who have been arrested. They say that they will not disperse from this spot until they are brought to this location in a vehicle so that they can confirm the release. I ain't mad at them at all. Y'all know I gotta come back, right? Y'all know that not only do I need to not be arrested so I can go home to my baby, but like I need to be back for the organizing thing in October. Y'all know that, right? You understand that? That I need y'all to go ahead and help me do that, right?
It's 11 on two. Yeah, people are getting out in the street. Like, fuck it, I'm filming right now. Let me get, hold on, let me get on my knees and take a picture in the middle. So they can be in the street, but I mean, what is it? Am, am I black? Can the black people not be in the street? Can I not cross the street? Because he clearly is in the middle of the street. Is it a race thing? I, I don't understand why we can't be in the street because it's blocked off. Like, what in traffic are you expecting? And they can just get out right there. And they can just fucking turn around and go on and go Thank you, Sita. Can you do me a favor? Uh, get another battery pack for me out of there. No, it's right here. It's right here. I got the same problem. For real? Thank you. Uh, no, nah. I'm still I'm still working on the other one, but when it dies, let me hook up to this one. I want to once again say thank you to everybody who donated to me um, in order for me to get these battery packs so that I could be out here uh, streaming. Without the support of the community, I would not be able to do this. I got one more in here. Huh? I got one more in here. You got one more? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm good for now. Okay. Yeah. I got two little small ones in the car charging. Um, I'm about to go dead on this one. I got this one and I got one more. So it's like, they were 3,400 MAH, just so you can keep running for a little bit. I'm an 18 year old. I actually don't even know. One thing about this app is I can't look at my battery percentage while I'm doing it. But I just was like at 85% and still charging. So I'm like, I, I should be good. I should have a couple hours without a problem right now. You know what I mean? Uh, you got to bring your packs with you. Why you didn't bring it? According to police scanners, 30 some police <coughs> are being told to uh, return to the police station and proceed with caution. So, what I'm hearing is they may be coming from behind the tire shop. Where's the tire shop? Uh, duh, stupid face. You've been sitting there all day. <laughs> I have moments like everybody so, else in life. Good words. They say tire and wheel. Because I learned how to read like a good little baby. <laughs> I mean, the donations are coming in and they're being used for uh, my business as a freelance journalist. So um, I'm not exactly worried about the IRS asking me about my contributions. What are you talking about? <laughs> I haven't seen anybody assault a police officer. I have seen some pretty hasty takedowns. I just want y'all to know that I got a water bottle tucked in my pants. So it's easy for me to unscrew the top. Um, I want to ask Adon Ops if he'll throw me a bottle of water, but I don't want him to get in trouble. Now it, you got to, yeah. There you go. <laughs> you was covering, you was covering your camera with the back part of the. Oh, so okay. it goes to that when you do that. Yeah. Like, I just, I gotta be, I, I'm gonna be completely ignorant, but who y'all with? I'm with Argus Streaming. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, 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 I'
I was just I'm, 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 oh, I'm I, curious. I came like, down to, to I'm, be I'm with a, my family. I'm a curious guy yeah. that lives in this neighborhood and just it's just Okay. I um I came down to visit my family. I got family in this neighborhood as oh. well. But um I'm I'm Bella with Bella Echo Media and I came to document it because I mean, people, you know, need people to see what's know. going oh, on. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean? You're doing your name yeah. now. I'm, yeah. I'm Patrick Barry. Nice to meet you, Patrick. Nice to meet you, too. Mustafa. Mustafa, Patrick Barry. Josh, Josh, nice to meet you. Josh, 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 Nick, nice to meet you, Patrick Barry. Yeah. What brand? Army. Okay. He's the pussy brand. Pussy brand. Fuck off. Double dog. Fuck off. Fuck yeah. Hoorah. Hoorah. I mean, like, I mean, we all gotta, we all gotta have our sins. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not a five on one C three, you guys. So, um, unfortunately, contributions made to me are not tax deductible. So, I, mean, I, 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 um, <laughs> I, I see all this shit. Uh, I mean, like, you can't write it up on your taxes. I heard it. Put on my gas mask. <laughs> the fuck you do that for, dude? See, it's the difference. I mean, no gas mask, unprepared. <laughs> I mean, but you know what? They make y'all get doused with it, don't they? What? My nephew is um, in like, Colorado honestly, right now. Like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he just had, he went through the pepper spray. Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's your fun. That's, 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 that's the fun. word for it. That was fun as <laughs> shit. I love it. So you, you sit here and do updates for people? Yeah, um, so right now my stream is actually being mirrored on several different sites. I'm almost 400 people watching me directly. Um... It's the internet option for people, you know what I mean? I think the police are cool. want to see what's going on. You want to know the truth? I think police are um, But it's amazing, like, during a lot of protest really? scenarios, I had to get it's legitimized by the ACLU as a freelance yeah. journalist so I could have some sort of protections. But the First Amendment clearly states that, like, freedom of expression, yeah. the pr freedom of, like, press is the yeah, extension of, of press, that. Yeah. Exactly. So it's yeah. like any citizen could yeah. be documenting. Um, so it's kind of absurd that I need to be looking at my You have the right to record whatever the hell you want. And nobody can take that right away from you. Right. So I mean, you know. If they're trying to stop you, raise hell. <laughs> you know, but like it's our constitutionally protected rights. You know what I mean? Like we're supposed yeah. to defend those as, as American citizens. That's supposed to be one thing that we do do uh, at all costs. So, I, you know, I appreciate them and this is my role. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if it's a link for the Finger Ferguson Bail Fund, um, but I do know that there was a phone number. Uh, Crusoe had posted it um, on the on thing. So. You asked me a question too. You asked me questions. Right, right. Text. But I'm I'm gonna say this: if you're gonna go ahead and go that far, every side has their own way of accepting or rejecting, <coughs> right? Yeah, but that doesn't make it right to fucking act on that in certain ways. The law is the law, and whether you're wearing a badge or not, you need to abide by it. You know, I can wear a band saying yay or nay to anybody if I want. So if... Can I if well, say something? Yes, I just want to interject, just on my opinion of that. Go like, on. I'm definitely... Everybody has their own opinion, and everybody yes, has the right to express that. Um, I do think that when you are um, in a position of authority, like the police departments mm -hmm. are, um, also when you are supposed to be, like, protecting and serving public servants, and there is like a lot of tension surrounding this particular issue um, that could effectively like be looked at as instigating um, riots or instigating tensions right. unnecessarily when you are supposed to be in effect negating those things. So I'm, you know, uh, trying to remain objective as far as that's concerned. Like people have the right to do what they want to do, but if you're a public servant and you are on duty, there are certain things that. I mean, forget like kind of tasteless, which should just not be acceptable because it could right. like increase, the, like I said, the tension. And to take it away from a question of opinion, the Department of Justice has said that it's illegal right. for officers to wear accessories on duty. So there's really no question of whether he's right or wrong. He's breaking the law as a police officer in a tense situation. Do what officer Everyone has it on? Do you know? He got removed because um, the, the guy who's been talking with the police and uh -huh. the protesters have you spoke to Officer Greg Chasem, who's uh -huh. doing a really good job actually, and asked to have him removed. African American officer came over, talked to him. They were talking for a while, and about probably 20 minutes ago, he was removed from the line. Okay. All right. Cool. Have you, have you read Catch 22? Uh, no, I have not. All right. I, I implore all of you to read Catch 22. Okay. It's the idea of the fact that you're damned if you do, and you're damned, damned if, if you, you don't. don't. It's Catch 22. I mean, isn't the uh, Catch 22 scenario, uh, doesn't it like specifically apply to the military in some instances? It applies to everything. Okay. Yes. I mean, you can honestly. I mean, I used to put it debate politics. And, uh, yes. So, yeah. I mean, Army, mm -hmm. Marine Corps, mm -hmm. I mean, it's. 
you can damn us as much as you want. I will take it through this barn. Mm-hmm. I will, you could dig me into the dirt. I don't care. That's what I'm here for. I you mean, think they'd be damning themselves by indicting Darren Wilson? And if so, how? That's a tough question. <laughs> That's kind of, that was heavy. Yeah. Yeah. How, 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 how do you, you how do you right? answer that? Answer me, how do you answer that? I was just asking you your opinion, because you told me the other day that they do and damn if they don't, so... I, so you answer your own you, question on your damn if you do and you don't. No, I'm saying that's your opinion. I disagree. Yeah, how are they damning you want themselves? This to not by happen, all they have to do Actually, is Jalissa, um, there's documents. They're available on the internet. The Department of Justice did clearly state that the uh, wristbands need to not be worn, and um, if it continues to happen, like there will be further action. So. Um, you know, regardless, opinion aside, it's like, if it's a fact, your opinion kind of doesn't count. So, sorry. <laughs> There's a chat room, we can see the people that are watching. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're, they're chatting with me. Doing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, Hence going back to Catch-22. <laughs> <laughs> you just proved it right I there. agree with this and I don't agree with this. I what mean, do you mean? I don't need to be the spotlight. I agree with, this if something wrong story. happens to the community, mm. you want to I mean, just, voice your opinion. <laughs> One person can have a voice. You get a mass people together, they all have a voice together, and it's going to be heard. Yeah. But with the protests at the same time, destroying your community is not going to help anything. It's more going to put you in a hole and make you seem as a... How is them sitting there destroying their community? All right, Higher so than the riots. Hold on, hold I know... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll answer that wholeheartedly. What street are you on? Answer that. I don't know. I'm from Oakland, California. This is South Florida. West Florida is about 10 blocks that way. But the police department's right here. We're okay. the police department. Like, we're not I'm nowhere. I'm so glad you can tell me where the police department is. But either way. Can I have a cigarette? I don't have one. Thank you. But either way, 10 blocks that way is West Florida. Canfield Drive is also that way. Where all this started. Yeah, I'm going but, I don't know this officer's last name, but his first name is Greg. Can I can I speak with you for a second? I'm sorry. I know that you're busy. Uh, Kasim. Kasim, sorry. Kasim in California. Okay. That's where I'm from. <laughs> um, I just wanted to know, like, what's uh, kind of going on as far as, like, the 11 o'clock ordinance and, like... Well, the colonel and some of the representatives, they are working together. That's all on them. Okay. 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 I'm just... I know a lot of people. Uh-huh. I've been here forever. Well, I mean, I've heard that you've been, like, actively working towards, like, peaceful solutions. Peace. Right. So, the colonel and some of the gentlemen and the youth initiatives, uh, they're all gonna work together mm-hmm. and hopefully resolve this and make it a peaceful ending. Okay. That's what I'm about. Okay. Okay, so hopefully it'll all work out. <laughs> Thank you. So um, that's pretty much what's happening. Basically they are working, um, I guess negotiating. I don't know what's gonna come of this, but the last, uh, terms that I heard stated by the protesters were that they refused to disperse from this spot until people who um, were arrested are not only released but transported to this area um, so that they can confirm the release and I, I guess the safety of those uh, uh, protesters. So uh, I guess what we're just standing here waiting on a verdict. Um, you see the NLG, the National Lawyer Guild legal observers are there taking notes. Um, there are cameras there. I believe Revolutionary Z and Anon Ops Pro are over there streaming. No, they're actually filming the police line and pointing out the police. Uh, there is a camera over there. I want to know what they're saying. So they're, they're, I guess, deciding what the terms of like the disbursement will be that they agree upon. She said, don't settle, we can settle in for 600 years.
Listen, the my thing is this. For too many years, we have been dealing with them and when they want to, them giving us a little inch and then we take it with the crawl. Hear me out. We don't the only reason why they are because they charge us. It was always when we do it, they still don't I told it right now to see me and we do it. I'm not here to tell anybody anything. I'm here to support the uh, position to make sure that everybody can see what's happening to people. I'm not about to tell them nothing. This is a day uh, city. Like, I can't do that because when people came to Oakland trying to tell us what to do, we wasn't fucking having it. So I'm not about to do it here. I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh, no. I'm not telling you. I know because you're trying to get them out, but this is a part of it. This is a part of it. This is a part of it. Negotiate and leave, and they say we're gonna be back tomorrow. No, we gotta leave. They will have to come out here with no summit, period. No nothing. He said, because it was, uh, This is what he said. He and you, you will be able to verify this or not. He said that the Lost Voices, a couple of them got arrested, and they promised to get rid of the summit, and he said, Him personally, he actually did. I'm asking you because I'm asking you. That's BS. They do. This is the third time that they've done this. First off, bro, you don't need to yell at me. I'm not yelling at you. What I'm saying to you is that you guys incited this crowd. I'm saying no. First of all, have a conversation with me, bro, because I've been out here. We're having a discussion with everybody. I'm talking so everybody can hear. I'm talking so everybody can hear. I'm talking so everybody can hear. I'm not one of them niggas, bro. See what I'm saying? Y'all want me to tell them something? I ain't telling them shit. I'm talking so everybody can hear. That's Can you guys hear them? Do you understand the negotiating with the police? This is now a hostage situation. But I've been saying that they kidnap you and then they hold you hostage for ransom, but they call it bail before we ever even get to the issue of innocence or guilt. But anyway, back to this. Sorry. Do you understand? My organization is in charge of that. They got $10,000 left. And we can yeah, pass up a hundred election plate if we so need to, bro. So when that money yeah. ran up and you niggas is doing the tour saying, okay, okay. who going to get you out? Okay, so we can pass up. Let's be realistic. Wait, wait, we got to be strategic at this, too. Well, my thing is, they don't let them go either way because it's unlawful. You know what I mean? Wait, so wait, the wait, only wait, thing wait, they have to do here is to get us to go home. But my question is, but my question is, is people willing to go to jail? Because right now, bills are set at a thousand dollars a person. Everybody can do that. We got that for them. Excuse me, crowd. Right. Please do not let that be a distraction. We have That's people donating to the bail fund. fund. Okay. We are not going to fund. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can anybody give me a link for people who want to donate to the bail fund? I got people across the country asking me about it, and I don't have the info to give them. I'm sorry. Do you just want me to tweet it? Um, it's at B E L L A E I K O. But if you say it right now, my mods will put it in the in the stream. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Anybody anyone you want to talk to? Excuse me. Anybody want to go to sleep? 
No, she's going. She's going. This is too divided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everybody Let's just let me know when you're ready. People being fearful that we don't have money. They did that on purpose. Not so we have to pass out a shoebox and collect bail money. We will pass out a shoebox and collect bail money. It's secure. It's secure. Dot dot p i r y x dot com slash donate slash m s like Sam two five k f like Frank c like Charles e like Elephant forward slash m o r e forward slash Mike Brown. Uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> if you can tweet it to me. Uh, yeah, B E L L A E I K O. Okay, she's tweeting it to me, uh, Courtney or Cindy. If you could check my Twitter Twitter stream and uh, make the link available for the Bell Fund. Thank you. Um, that would be amazing. Definitely need that type of support in uh, Ferguson. So thank you, everybody who is able to do it. If you aren't able to actually donate, uh, please um, retweet or repost the link so that people will be able to um, effectively organize to get the polit political prisoners out of jail. Because these are not criminals. These are political prisoners who are out here protesting to access uh, their First Amendment rights and to um, get justice for uh, the murder of Mike Brown. So, um, sorry y'all, I'm using my light to try to find a water bottle. I'm so thirsty. Oh. Huh. So the police backed up. Tension seemed to, uh... Yeah, if you guys can check my Twitter stream, um, somebody just tweeted me the link for you to donate to the Bell Fund. Um, if that is... If you are able to support anybody in Ferguson getting out of jail, these are political protesters. These are not criminals. People are out here doing exactly what the fuck they're supposed to be doing. So if you can like help them um, access their freedom, since you know money directly equates to that, uh, that would be amazing. You know what? We tried to get a revolving bail fund where we could pay the full amount of the bail so that it would be refunded um, instead of paying up a, a portion of the bail. But it's simply not able to do that. And if we keep leaving people behind, as in like they get arrested and then we leave them sitting in jail, what type of solidarity and community is that? And people are not going to like want to take the risk to come out here. So we need to provide that type of support. Um, we can't even talk politics without money. And the people who are always kept in a lower socioeconomic tax bracket are black. So we need to make sure that we can support people to, to organize effectively. Like they keep us as fucking wage slaves on the bottom of the totem pole and then wonder why we can't organize effectively because we out here breaking our backs for basic um, necessities, food, housing, and clothing. And no, we're not the only ones. I'm not saying that it's just clearly race. There's a class issue, but if you put black in front of whatever, it makes it worse. You can be LGBTQ, but if you're a black one, you automatically worse. You can whatever. So, I mean, and for the police, that holds true as well. So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, guys, I just talked to bail support. There is a woman who does bail support full time. I just got off the phone with her. The fund is not out of money. We do need funds on a continuous basis from, from today until national mobilization. But we are not out of money. If the police are using the word negotiation, we need to get that on film. We have got it on film. We have it on film because they're actually now turned this into a hostage situation. Okay, when you negotiate, you negotiate for hostages. Right. So, we're not going to negotiate with them because they're trying to get take our rights away and they don't ever give us what they say they're going to give us. Right. So we need people to donate to the bail fund, please. We are not out of money. What, um, 
Can I please ask you to respond um, to people saying we're raising money to funnel the police department because we're participating in the in the paying of ransom, basically. Um, a lot of people are, are asking, like... Um, we need to get... They're, okay, I understand what they're saying. Yeah, they're yeah. saying when we pay a bond or when we pay... When we get we do bail, that's, that's going into the system. I understand what you all are saying, but they are snatching our organizers up off the ground. And they're trying to keep our organizers so they can kill the movement. We have to get them out. We and have that bail to get money them out. Is, it, is cash, it will be returned. And I also keep saying that, like, if you let your people sit in jail and you don't come and get them, that is not a show of solidarity and community. You will start to see the movement die. Right. So it is a necessary part that, of it. That's exactly uh, right. They are trying to kill the movement. They are trying to kill the movement. Please understand, we are not trying to pump any more money into the system, to their system, than we have to. But we are not going to let these men and women who come out here and put their bodies on the line sit there. We are not going to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, do you got, can people follow you on Twitter? What's your Twitter? My Twitter is at stack I-Z short. Okay, stack is short. S-T-A-C-K? S-T-A-C-K-I-Z-S-H-O-R-T. Okay, so you guys can tweet her if you have more questions about the bail fund. I'd be happy to answer. She's on the ground and we'll be happy to answer. Um, here we go. Got a little bit of info. The other thing people need to know, bail money here, as long as they show up to court, once their case is closed and it's over, whether they're convicted or, or not, that, that money is returned. So it's not like Oakland? They don't get to keep it. Okay, because you know, in, in Alameda County, um, we were trying to get a revolving bail fund so that we could pay the full bail amount instead of the percentage because we would never get that back. Right, we pay 100%. Oh, you guys are paying 100% of the bail to get it back. Okay, because oh, so it does work the same way. You just have a better bail fund than we did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Understandable. As long as they show up. To court. To court. Okay. Okay. Um, have you had any, like, out-of-town people who have needed to, like, uh, have a court case transferred or Not anything yet. like that? Not scheduled so far in, in, in advance that... You're going to figure out how to get your ass back out here, and that's how we're going to hold you in contempt. Okay. All right. All right. I understand. Yes, Brian, the organizers are more valuable than the money. That is true. He said it's just like a tax return. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but that was kind of funny and stupid at the same time. And so I'm looking for, once again, Sasha and Nick. Um, we still got the bikes going. They have not stopped. Man, her right here, she been doing it all day. So I'm looking for my people. We still got people honking in support. Oh, they went to go get a battery pack. Okay, they keep telling me that, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> All right, y'all, so what I'm about to do, because I have been standing in my... Hey! Oh, it's been some insanity. Yeah. Yes. Um, right now, it's hostage negotiation going on. Yeah, That's basically... Yeah, for a minute. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, everybody, cat here. Cat's Bye. here. <laughs> Just, we ain't went nowhere. Negotiations are for hostage situations. That is entirely true. That's the one right there, Courtney. That's it. Okay. That's it, Courtney. That's the link. The uh, secure.pyrex.com slash donates. Yeah, that, that, that's the one, Courtney. Um... I'm thirsty and my feet hurt, so I'm sitting down. Sorry. Uh huh. I don't want to shut down because I. No, no, no. I, I'm not with Argus. Um, but we work together. You know what I mean? I'm Bella Echo Media. Um, I started out of Oakland, California, because the police do the same shit that, and the, the news don't report it the way it should be. So it's up to me. You know, or whoever else is willing to take the risk to come out and do it. Red streaming? 
I haven't seen Revolutionary. Hey, is anybody, uh, is Revolutionary Z stream up? I thought he was like right there, I think actually. I might have walked past him. My, mine's down, yeah, down. Okay, Red just playing now. Okay. I just have to find it. I don't know if it's, I don't know. But that's why the lady came on and said, don't get it twisted. This is a distraction because we don't, we ain't out of bail money. We getting people out anyways. We not supposed to negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Oh, okay. And I can say that I respect the entire thought yeah. process about that. Oh, yeah, there you go. You filming the police. Okay. I see Revolutionary Z, y'all. Thank you. What's up? Rob Norris. It's uh, B E L L A E I K O, baby. How you been? Yes. That. I, I have it. Yes. I need that. It's on my stream. Okay. It's on my stream. Can somebody rip Christmas that Christmas. section where the, the police actually use the word negotiate? Do you need it now? I need it now. I need okay. it now. Courtney, okay. I'm about to shut down the stream. Can you come okay. back on and highlight no, 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 the portion? Got you got, got it? it? Okay, Argus got it. Never mind. Right okay. Argus got it. Oh, we needed to catch on film the part where the police talked about negotiating for the freedom of those because that's illegal. It's hostage. It's a hostage scenario. That's when you, these aren't criminals. You know what I mean? These are political protesters, which means they are political prisoners, which means we need to do what the fuck we can do to get them out as soon as possible. Because what the, what y'all, what y'all don't understand is that when the police put political prisoners in jail, they lock them up in segregated cells typically. They treat them like shit and do hella shit to them and increase the probability of them catching a case that they can actually stick to them when it ain't no cameras and shit on them in jail. So, you know, I understand that people don't like like giving the money to the system, but like the people are more important than the money. So get off that shit. Community, not commodity. Straight up. Like we need to get them because they in there facing the same atrocities, but without the type of protection that we can offer them as a community on the street. So, yeah, that's just what it is. <laughs> I just had one, thank you. I don't know. Some people on Twitter are saying that there was a deal made, but like... I don't know if they're just getting that from the live stream. Yeah, I, I ain't sure. This one go out to my sucker free homies. Uh, I'm a pimp, I'm from Pomona, I got style, I got class, I got sucker repelling on me, homie, I beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so you the video, you the squad saying? Yeah, I get a, I get a, I get a dap. Can you we not leave me hang it? Right on. <laughs> this is California food, the baby. No. You know, St. Louis, used to love too short. No, no. <laughs> Why you had to say it like that? <laughs> Right on. Thanks for the love. Feels good to be welcomed into the community, you know what I mean, to to, to help. Um, but the one thing that I keep saying, like, you guys saw it over there. The guy was like, I'm from St. Louis. You ain't even from here. Like, what the fuck? That's hella disrespectful. You trying to tell us what to do. That's why I'm like, I understand that everything you guys are saying is coming from a good place. But as a, a black woman from East Oakland, when people came in trying to tell us what to do, I ain't coming here doing that. I'm in here of support because I am a black person in America raising a black son. So these issues apply to me, but this is not my town. These are not my police. I cannot tell them what to do, but I can stand in support of what their actions are. Or I cannot stand in support of it. That's up to me. I mean, we Am I an archaeologist? Why you say that, <laughs> Nero Figro? <laughs> um, people, I, I, I'm not totally sure if I would call it a de-arrest attempt, but I will say that people take it. Oh, here, I shine some light on the subject. Y'all taking a picture? You ready? We're going to do a video. You ready? Okay. Start. 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 Here with the, the ox, the crew, shot yourself out to loud. What's up? My name's Lyle Mud. I'm with Tribex, and we're just out here uh, down for the revolution and looking for justice. Ant. My name is Ant. Uh, I'm on at Wumi on Twitter. 
Can, cause can you spell it for people so they can follow it, Vanji? N-A-M-L under slash M-U-M-I-N. Okay. My man. Hey, EJ, try best in this motherfucker. Find me on Twitter, at Immaculate Jones. Start with E E M M A C U L A T E. Okay. Jones. Okay. Yeah, we out here. The Ryan Buck Sex, Twitter. try best. Uh, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan Frank from the South Side. Ryan Frank 314 on Twitter. No intimidation. Ain't nobody scared. We out here for justice for Mike uh, Brown. Uh, my bad. My aqua wasn't done speaking. Oh, yeah, it's good. no. It's good. It's good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He no, he wasn't yeah, Tell him about Brandon, man. Yeah, tell him about Brandon. Yeah, uh, uh, they just locked up my brother Brandon um, for nothing. Oh, we were trying to get his name. Yeah, we were trying to get his name for NLG. This is government. Brandon Sneed. Yeah, yeah. Sneed. Um, you need to get with one of the legal observers so, and make sure yeah, they have uh, the information uh, to get him. What is it called? Uh, what is it called? Jail support is already on top of it. Okay, so, okay, okay. Because yeah. we were we were worried about that because we couldn't get his birthday when they had him on the ground. We yeah, were we worried about it too, and we definitely not. No, going yeah, home. yeah, yeah. We're we definitely not going home until we get out. Of um, we're not going home until y'all do. What's his birthday? I won't call him. I mean, it, I mean, it don't, it don't have to because y'all already got it taken care right, of. Right. Like what, this is an emergency scenario if that happened. You one know what of mean? my main points of making this video is to show everybody that we've had a lot of Islamophobic attacks. We look at these Muslim brothers here. We're not scared. We out here. We part of the community. We are on these streets, and there's nothing you can say to get us off the street, to get us out of this justice for Mike Brown movement. All is all is already lost, so there's nothing to conserve. So. You know, at this point, it's just like, fuck it, you know, it's like this, this shit that's going on right here. This is what makes a Palestinian or Palestinian a Palestinian rebel. Like when you back people up against the wall and they have no choice but to fight for their survival. That's right. And, you know, we, we, we just gonna, we're going to get on that gangster shit. So, that's right. That, that, that's what we I are. mean, when you take away our rights to be peaceful, what else are we left with? That's why it go number one, number two. OK, right. peaceful, not peaceful. And like all these motherfucking politicians that's coming here trying to spin motherfuckers heads. AKA Antonio French, fuck your bitch ass mm -hmm. nigga. We already know about you, nigga. We know about all your bitch ass niggas. So shit, just wait on it. It's coming. Yeah, that's yeah. Omar. Okay. Uh, <laughs> MT121 was like, is that Omar? <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's Omar Lee. You know, I, I'm here. I got love for everybody. Uh, like I said, we out here for justice for Mike Brown. Uh, these are some of the people deeper to the struggle. You know, Ryan Frank bringing his artistic ability uh, to the situation. Uh, my Mathune Cookman, this is an uh, intellect, uh, you know, in the spirit of W.B. Du Bois and all the great intellects and uh, actors on the scene. And, you know, we got the soldiers here. Uh, Talal is also an independent journalist. And, you know, we got this crew here, the town of the St. Louis Reduce. Uh, we grew up uh, with, with the pain and the misery of St. Louis and the beauty. And, and we combine this into our work and what we do. And, uh, you know, we're not going to be here until this finishes. If they lock us up, they lock us up. If they kill us, they kill us. They lock us up and kill us anyway. Exactly. Like, that's that's already the status quo. The situation yeah. is, a person like myself, I was already born with a military attacking mind. They put me in a neighborhood, all I had to do was fight for my life. But this was right here is to walk this part. I can do this all the time. I'm already trying to. So, y'all was giving a shout out. What's I'm sorry, y'all was saying something in the beginning, like the right. name of y'all group? Tribe X. Tribe X. Okay, I'm sorry. Tribe Unknown. The unknown Tribe. Okay, Tribe X. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure that I get all the information correct because, you know, CNN and them fuck it up enough. I don't need to do that. Part. <laughs> tribe X. Not like the bad drug, but Tribe X. <laughs> Revolution will not be televised, but it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Well, my name is uh, Jessica, but everybody calls me Bella because of my Twitter handle. I'm Bella Echo. I you stream, live stream, blog. I'm definitely an activist and could give no fucks about the police. All so. the fellas go go follow Bella. Um, yeah, like check me out. Um, you gonna find all of this, and I'm gonna make sure to do my best to pump it out so y'all voices is heard. Because speaking speak, speak, speak of Twitter, get at me at uh, underscore T M I. That's underscore T A H M A D. Okay. And this S T L Abu Bella Umar Ali, the man right here. You know we got this crew here. Sasha Payne in the house. If you want to get good thoughts from your brain, go and follow Sasha Payne. And we got a, a, a we, we see the, the diversity of humanity that's brought out here. Florence and Rose, Ferguson, Missouri. We in here. We're not going home. Right on. Thank you. I, I ain't shutting down though, no, but I'll go this way. Like I, I stay on. <laughs>
I mean, because I ain't no stranger to the game. Yeah, that's I even, I mean, yeah. I know Maylox is cool, but I will survive with a bottle of water and a gas yeah, mask. I'm and surprised we haven't seen I'll be out here tomorrow, too. Oh, you know the problem is, I got asthma, and uh, I can't fucking breathe when I put this shit on. Yeah, no, they said that if you don't use it right, you could fucking die, especially if you got asthma. Right. Yeah, you got to. I'm sure there are some videos, especially probably by Anonymous posting on like, you know, how to do the gas mask and shit like that. Yeah, they put the, uh, some people from Gaza posted a video, like, uh -huh. the message to people from Ferguson, like, teach them how to deal with them. Man, let me tell you something. When, when we was doing Occupy Oakland, you know, um, in Egypt, they had dragged a woman, the military dragged a woman through the ground, so her bra was showing, and everybody's calling her the blue bra lady for a while. Yeah. Well, we had a solidarity protest in Oakland with those in Egypt and people from Egypt came down um, you know to, to speak at the rally and they brought us the tear gas canisters that were being used on them by the Egyptian military yeah. and they were the exact same ones that the Oakland Police Department were using and then they dragged my friend Anthony through the ground on the ground so his motherfucking pants came off while we doing an Egyptian solidarity march with the blue bra one it just it was like oh my god you know what I mean it's like you don't even care you speaking know what of, I mean yeah, they don't, they speaking of Oakland Speaking of Oakland, uh, it's, I think it's Tuesday. If you get the invite, there's a private screening of, uh, what was it, Fruitvale Station? Uh huh, uh huh. We have a private screening at St. Louis University. Oh, that's what that means, like, retweet it for everybody in the uh, It's private, though. Oh, okay. There's going to be a private screening of the uh, Fruitvale Station out here because. That shit that happened to Oscar Grant Same was University. fucking ridiculous. I got the info. It was like my face. Like, I don't give a shit what he did. He was handcuffed face down on the fucking ground, and you shot him in the back. That was an execution. And you know they're talking about hiring him. He went and appealed to get his fucking job back. Uh, Meserly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, yeah. Right. He got the same amount of time that my cousin got for selling weed. What? Come on, now. You know what I mean? Like, nah. Then he got out and applied to get his fucking job back. Y'all know what uh, Haywood is? Haywood, California? Is that close to Haywood? Oh, uh, yeah, I used to go to school in Haywood. I yeah. To I went to Chabot College and I debated competitively politics and then I ended up being the top speaker for two years running. But because I'm black and broke, I can't afford to go to school. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be a lawyer. I want to go back to school. I do really well at school. But being a black woman from a disenfranchised area, East Oakland, lower socioeconomic tax bracket, it's hard as fuck for me to go back There's to school. There's a lot of gentrification in Oakland right now. Oh, yeah. crazy. Spilling over from, the, from San Francisco. Oh, yeah, because yeah. they like, oh, get y'all broke asses out. They want to pay right. two, three times what y'all paying to stay up in here. They're not renewing no affordable housing contracts. Everything is market rate condos. The Eastmont Hills are now a million dollars. I'm like, y'all are going <laughs> Like, I'm from the hood. It's no different than, like, down here. And then you have, like, an influx of people coming in to push out the quote-unquote element. Yeah, you know I what I mean? I can't imagine what would happen like, if something like that happened here, like, for this huge tech boom. Same thing, it's guys. Possible. I mean, it happened in New York City, happened in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Bruce said, I was born in Howard. <laughs> I mean, are people listening to us while we talking? Yeah. All right, what's up? And air? they coming. Everybody come to St. Louis. One more I leave. You come here. I'm a tour guide and cab driver. If you're an activist, I'll give you a free tour of St. Louis. Come on out. Give me a Twitter at STLABUBADU. One more I leave. That's a good tour. You want that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trevor Ross lives in Hayward. I Best know, right? OV and a hot chips, gooey, butter cake. <laughs> Emo's pizza and revolution. And revolution. <laughs> I'll take care of it all. Uh, the police's numbers seem to have dissipated. They're like a bad dream. Can we ignore them and they go away? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. The thing is, there's a pattern every single night where when they retreat and they chill out. Then they come back harder. No, the protesters chill out. It's a, the only violence happens is when they come out and they're oh, dressed stance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course. Everything is peaceful as long as they stay inside or stay open. I mean, I don't see the protesters coming out with like bulletproof shields and guns and shit. Like that's y'all come prepare for a riot. We came with food and every water night. and like <laughs> bikes. <laughs> Yeah, right. You know what I mean? The, the pattern is the same every night. It's all love. Until the they pattern come out is the there. same across the country. Sure. Yeah, you know what I mean? Come on their aggressive the stance with their yeah. stormtrooper outfits mm -hmm. and shit. And that's, and that's, and that's why I'm like, you you are effectively violating your own crowd control policy because you're instigating a riot when you do that. Yeah, exactly. Back the fuck up because it's a protest yeah, it's about instigation. excessive force. Oh, so you ex can't excessively force us right now because you instigating us. Like, let us dance. But it's dangerous to have black kids standing strong, refusing to be subjugated or oppressed or in fear and dancing at that. You know what I mean? Like you ain't breaking our spirit or nothing. 
I think that they want they want the crowd to get unruly. I think they come out. Of course. Dance because it feeds into their. Of course. And then them the over there, the the media who was parked over there all the time, they the ones that's gonna throw out that oh the protesters clashed with the police instead of like oh you did y'all see what happened like we was actually just there and the, pro the police ran up on us like no no no. That's why I'm glad people from out of town are coming in here to see this with your own eyes because the media lies every night. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean you got a lot of these like this is the suburb of St. Louis. So you got a lot of these. This is the most action they probably ever seen. City cops they work in 24 seven. Oh I done been to other areas. Huh? <laughs> I said oh, I done yeah. been to other areas. Yeah. It depends on where it is. Let me let me put parts. I mean I done been to a couple where it's like you know um I know where I'm at. Huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, smell it in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Bella for Senate. Uh, no, fuck that. Uh, yeah, no, I, I agitate the system. I don't participate in it. Oh, they do want to kill us all. You know, that's why, I'm sorry, but I had to get my shit together because y'all know, like, I love my baby, but at some point, my baby stopped being a baby and he's a threat now because just he's black. And I'm like, and I done seen some disturbing shit about nine 12-year-old girls, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I thought she was a prostitute. Yeah. Then she a 12-year-old motherfucking girl. What are you talking about? It's hot as fuck. She got shorts on. What the hell are you talking about? But, oh, you know, our little picking any whores and shit like that, you know, whatever. That's why you talk about restore the peace. Hey, it, this is the same peace he was shot under. So what you telling me is shut up, nigga, and know your motherfucking place here because shit ain't changed. Like, I'm sorry. And then you got the, sorry, uh, uh, Obama, how I feel about that. Um, coming on, talking about some, there is never a reason for you to, like, combat law enforcement uh yeah when they fucking egregiously shoot motherfuckers like ain't you supposed to be protecting us and upholding the law and ain't the constitution the highest letter of the law like ain't you supposed to uphold that ain't your little stupid ass local legislation that's in like opposition of that ain't it like not valid like don't your district attorney supposed to do something about that shit like the, ain't the department of justice supposed to do something about that what the fuck with eric holder and obama y'all can kiss my ass like i don't give a fuck about the black president or none of that shit you might not be in school, but you put most oratory skills to the good <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You're way better off. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't need to be in there because I tried that and they ignore you. No, this, is where, this is where people need you. <laughs> yeah, motherfucking Bella for the goddamn Senate. Yes. <laughs> So, hey, it, can somebody research this? So what I heard is that like the St. Louis or the Missouri Consti state constitution still says that black folks are three fifths of a person. Can somebody look that up? That is so fucking interesting. I would love to know if that's really true. Somebody uh, said that to me here. And I'm like, since I have a lot of online support, I'm like, I, I would, if, if anybody could find anything confirming that, I would love to know. You know what I mean? Uh, that would be a very interesting thing, and it would shine a lot of perspective on the actions being taken during the peaceful process. Can I bring up one point? Yeah, Michael sure. Allen, and I love Michael Allen. I, I, I ain't bullshit. I love Michael Allen. That's a good friend of mine. Uh, Preservation SDL uh, on Twitter. He's a real gem to our community. He's an architectural historian, an activist. He's a really great guy. I mean, Michael Allen is, is now, I mean, just a really nice guy, really uh, peaceful dude. Uh, he got locked up out here protesting tonight. Uh, he's a real trash junk. He saved so many historic buildings. Uh, great heart, compassionate dude. And we just really want to see Michael Allen free. Uh, when did he get arrested? Uh, a couple of, it was a couple of hours ago, something like that. Which one? Michael Allen. Wait, uh, uh -oh. He got arrested earlier. He was one of the group that got arrested earlier. Okay. So, before I got here. Historic okay. preservation. Historic preservation. Okay. And an actor. Yeah. Free Michael Allen. When was Michael Allen arrested? Uh, no, I haven't seen him actually. When was Michael Allen arrested. Mike Brown. Allen. Hey, has anybody seen Argus? Is Argus up and streaming? Uh. The lady from Bell Support is looking for Argus because he was supposed to be highlighting the portion of the video where the police were talking about uh, negotiating for the release of prisoners. Uh, I'm sorry, hostages. <laughs> I believe that's the correct terminology. Um, all right, I'm going to walk around and try to help find Argus. Uh, yeah, I'm going to walk around and try to help find Argus real quick. Uh, the lady from Bell Support was looking for him because... 
You gonna stay right here? Okay. 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 Did y'all start the car when y'all went back to check on the Okay. He might have gone back to his car to charge. Yeah, he said he was going back to his car because he had left his charger in it, and I don't know exactly where he parked. Um, but I can find. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he his battery was dying, and he left his charger in the car, so he might be juicing up right now. Okay. Um, but as soon as he, if I see him and, and he hasn't talked to you, I'll, I'll point him in your direction. Okay. What's your name again? My name is Bella. Bella, so, so you like freelance, you like with the LA Times or something? Um, I'm freelance as in I started my own everything. Like right. I don't depend on nobody for nothing. I see, so like you just like sell pieces or like partnership with like different... Uh... No, I depend on the people who want to see what's happening to donate for that I, so I can come do things. Like this is my friend and they wanted me to be able to come out here so they drove me out here. So so like you got your own platform like it's like website or something? Uh-huh. Like so you got a YouTube, what do you use? YouTube, a Ustream, you use? Ustream, YouTube, Twitter, right. Facebook. You got everything. Hell of, you got a hell of a base. Yeah, I got a pretty decent following. A few thousand people on Twitter. A few uh, five hundred on. We should, we should collab on some shit. Though. We should definitely. Um, are, you still, are you still streaming? I'm streaming right now. All right, so check this out. Uh, when you get a chance, just, just Google Talal Mad in St. Louis. That's T A L A L. Last name A H M A D in St. Louis. So you'll narrow it down to, to me. And can can like you that. say it slower? Hey, Courtney, I need you to pay attention to what he's about to say right now. Can you like uh? email it to me type it up and email it to me um can you say it slowly so she can type it up yeah so google talal ahmad in st louis that's t-a-l-a-l-a-h-m-a-d and make sure you put in st louis otherwise you'll, you'll get people from all, all over the globe named talal ahmad okay so, so do that you know you'll get all my work will pop up like you know my print my videography and stuff like that okay and like i've been on this uh this social justice shit and so, like, I got a lot of pieces on there that will, like, show you, like, the history, like, the last couple of years, like, how this whole uh, uh, political police harassment and fucking oppression that, you know, black people here in this metro area have, have been dealing with. This, this, this shit didn't just start, like, you know, six weeks ago oh, when on. Mike got killed. Right, so, right. So, yeah. Google Tank. I'm telling you, before about. Mike Brown got killed in Oakland, we had Alan Bluford. Right. You know what I mean? And before Alan was Oscar. And then in between them, we got what Ezel Ford, John Crawford. Like, I mean, let's go on. I mean, you know this, what I mean? Like, this, this, this shit been going on ever everywhere. Since, ever, ever since this place been a thing. Exactly. You know exactly. So it's, it's time for us to fucking do the same thing that uh, the, the the founding fathers of this country did when they wanted when they wanted their own sovereignty. Uh, they didn't march and pray and sing and clap. They had to fucking go to war with Britain and take this motherfucker so they can have sovereignty. And they also killed our Native American brothers, but that's a whole other story. But right now, as far as like uh, with, with, with oppressed people, all oppressed people, specifically African American people and niggas in the U.S., what we got to do is we got to fucking go to war. We gotta, it's, it's revolution time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, asking for amendments and to the bills and the rights and all that shit. They gonna work. We got we gotta, we to gotta take this shit over like the kids did in Egypt and fucking rewrite our constitution and write ourselves in it because when it was written, when the Bill of Rights was written, uh, we were considered as less than fucking humans. So we're still living under under that same tone. So it's time for us to fucking set, set a tone that's conducive for, for our livelihoods and survival. Everybody on here is asking me that, uh, can you repeat your information again? Uh, so, um, just spell it. Uh, Google Tal my name is Talal Ahmad. Uh -huh. Google Talal Ahmad in St. Louis. Okay. That's T A L A L A H M A D. Okay, T A L A L. Last name is A H M A D, right? Um, can you direct message it to me? Because, like, there are a million tweets right now, it'll get lost in my feed. <laughs> Thank you. Right, uh, right, right. Sorry. Uh, I just wanted you know that this is my act right here. Uh, we got we got a little organization, social justice organization called uh, Tribe X, and so uh, we're gonna check our organization and try to educate our youth, try to get more organized and uh, do more strategic planning and stuff like that. So look out for Tribe X, and you can also Google our shit. Okay. Okay. Right. So that's Tribe X that they with. Um, Y'all should research it and shit, get involved. I'm doing this. Like, you know what, even if you are online activists, if you don't have the ability to actually put your body on the line, there are still ways that you can operate as a support system for people who are on the front line. Um, over the course of these, you know, yesterday and today, I feel like I've collected a lot of information. 
Um, there are definitely a lot of people that I'm connected with on Twitter now. So if you want to like try to find people on the ground or you know talk to people and find ways that you can actually help, um, make sure that this is a successful movement and that the people you know will have maybe an actual chance at justice or maybe that this could really be the catalyst and the kickstarter for the revolution. Um, do what you can because if we all do a little, we can get a lot done. Thank you, Courtney. Your bodies don't don't really mean anything to them. They showed you that when they shot that motherfucker. They showed you that they don't care about your physicality being out here. You didn't see them all bust out that pepper spray? Yeah, we saw it. And they did y'all and y'all no offense. Y'all brought y'all white allies out here and they still turned up. They don't care. Because they're not making them. Because guess what? While we were in the street, sorry, they were standing back there. Because guess what? When they said stand on the curb, they stood on the curb and they kept making their noise. They kept doing what they were doing, but they did not put they themselves in a position to have to get these motherfuckers a thousand dollars to fund them to do the same exact thing tomorrow. And, attention and, high. You and a lot of this is just about attention. We don't need all this symbolic shit anymore. It has to be principled. Smart. And we don't have to say nothing. So look, we don't have to talk to them. We gotta. We can't just have a conversation in the street. We, we can spread the word. The party yeah, problem spread is the word. The party problem. You know, we can we can meet on any fucking line. We need to do that. Listen, we need. Who got a paper right now? We gonna pass this motherfucker. We don't even. We have social media. We don't have to go back to passing papers. Why we gotta regret? Well, we, we so that it's hard. There, we need to get it down. Let me ask you this. How hard did it take for people to get out here tonight? Y'all heard about it, right? Nobody passed out flies. Nobody sent out smoke signals. So the same way that we can do that. Nobody sent out smoke signals. All right. Everybody has to get off the road. You're going to get hit by car. Somebody's going to get hit. Yeah, I was looking at Antonio French. <laughs> DJ, uh, email me. Email me, because if you tweet me right now, it's like every conversation that y'all having is in my Twitter feed. I won't find it. Get on the sidewalk. I don't know about y'all, but my mama taught me how to cross the street safely. I don't really need the, I mean, like, if y'all are very, that interested in, like, our life, like, stop shooting us. She like, let me in the, the building. Oh, the building. You know what, um, Beyond Oasis, you got to give people time to work through things. Everybody is not an expert in how to lead a revolution, but you got to give them time to work through shit. You can't sit over there and criticize every action that they're making. These are young black people coming together to organize for justice. You got to give them time. This is the most positive shit I've seen. I don't know. You need to back the fuck up. I certainly don't think she was gonna hit one of us. I'm just. I don't 
don't think that they was gonna hit us either. <sighs> really, it's like a don't take the street thing. That fucking kills me. If we was in Oakland, we would be all over this shit all night, and it would be like a gang of perpetual weed smoke in the air. It was so much, I don't give a fuck going on. It makes me nostalgic, but I'm very happy to see them being smart. Um, and it's hard to find that balance in between like protesting and standing up for my rights and like trying not to be arrested. You know, it's the same stuff that happened on Thursday, except they all dispersed and ran like chaos and hell of shit. They stayed, kept a cool head. They still on the sidewalk. The police have not advanced on them. So I'm like, yes, as to where it may look like the same, there are a lot of significant details and changes. You guys still haven't found them? No, 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 I haven't. But we're okay. Um, I'm a little snappy, sorry. No, no, no. I know St. Louis is not Oakland. That's why I'm like, I understand. It just makes me uh, nostalgic, is what I'm saying. Oakland was going to fuck down. This is also going down in a very different way. So I'm happy to see that they're still out here. And I can't wait to see what other types of creative forms of protest that they do. Um, I want to tell them about Chalky Pie and all that type of stuff because there were things that like looked very positive and you were able to bring children out. And so like, the citizen media propaganda that was put out would show that the police would like advance on children and disabled people and things like that. Um, but you, it's unfortunate because like if you have kids drawing with sidewalk chalk in the middle of the day, like am I supposed to expect the police to be violent against us? You know what I mean? But it's like, oh, this is a protest and we don't want to hear about the protest. So we'll just be like, take all your broke asses home, fucking niggers. Like, come on now. Get some perspective. So Argus said the people who got arrested are supposed to be released at 12.30. Hey, uh, it's Brittany. Thank you. All I hear, it, your message cuts off at the end, but I'll, I'll try to find it in my Twitter stream later. Thank you for watching. So basically she's saying united we stand, divided we fall. If they try to arrest you and you ain't did nothing wrong, they say that they gotta take me too. Which is wonderful. That's huh? how it works though. When they come to take I'm good, one, how you doing? they take one real quick or good, they gotta good. take more than one. Is that what you mean? How can one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, 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 e
Yeah, they, uh, I got a significant amount of people watching. Because we're black, the first thing anger. Who are pro-pig supporters? Uh, no, 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 no. They uh, negotiate, I mean, not negotiating, but they're talking right now. It really is good because it's establishing community in a way that we know that we're going to have each other back. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we're supposed to have that. We need to increase community so we can increase awareness so that we can get people out here. Like, if it was really right and wrong, you know, then they was like, well, you're right. What do you mean if the crowd promises to stay peaceful? The crowd has been peaceful. I mean, I'm not trying to argue with y'all. I'm sorry. Um, the crowd been peaceful. It wasn't until the police showed up with guns and shit. They the only ones was ready for violence. These people came out here with food and water. They don't want to open their eyes. It's about 300 people right here. They're commenting and I'm responding to them. Oh, so you just speak to them. Yeah, so they're like, people were arrested are supposed to be released. So I'm like having the conversation with them. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So it's kind of cool because, you know. Yeah. You have to understand that shit. If you don't understand that, fucking move. Go to Iceland where everybody's fucking white. What do you have to do? You have to do. 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 You uh, you realize that there's no purpose for the police to be here and they are literally being paid to hang out right now. Or a black iPhone. These are tax dollars. And hard at work. Gotta stay hydrated. Hey, Occupy 108. Thank you, Mike, for watching. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. I don't expect to follow them to follow through with releasing people either. But the very fact that we have them on camera talking about negotiating for their freedom. Take that off your hands. Huh? Don't get up. You don't have to have all this stuff. Okay. Thank you. Um. It's, an, it's a hostage situation. They're not supposed to talk about like negotiating, releasing people, because you're only supposed to uh, arrest criminals. And if you arrest a criminal, they have to go through due process. So if you have the power to release them, it means you're holding them illegally. Thanks, Ebert Hawk. So, um, for those of you who are not following me on Twitter, please do so. I've also been live tweeting several pictures. I went over to uh, the memorial today. I took a lot of pictures of the stuff that they were doing over there. They were like making buttons. There was other forms of creative protests going on. Awesome. Um, and so, uh, you go check it out and see what's going on. Um, I'm also Bella Echo on Instagram, but I'm not accepting everybody on that. And you can also uh, follow me, uh, Bella Echo, on Facebook. I do have a public page as a, as a news media outlet, and so you can definitely uh, follow everything that's been going on. Um, and please um, feel free to repost or actually share things on my page. I definitely want to increase communication and awareness and get as much done to uh, help the movement along because we need a revolution. This shit got to stop. Everybody calls me Bella. Bella. Mm -hmm. Hi, what's your name? Mark. 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 Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Drink that bottle, but you can get that. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Take it in. Shut down. Give me that. You have all this stuff in your hand. Thank you. I take a different route home every night. And today, my father. Uh, he was so nice. Mark took my water bottle. He's like, you got hell shit going on. You got like two water bottles, a camera. I'm like, okay. hey. Hi.
My name is Bella. Hi, Bella. I'm a live streamer from Oakland. I came to like uh, document what's going on because you know mainstream media totally lies. Um, and there were a number of times tonight when you were speaking with the police and they would not let people come uh, document what was being said. Um, and I was just wondering if you wouldn't mind kind of like recapping some of the conversations you had with them. Well, they were just pretty much talking about uh, releasing the uh, prisoners. They gonna release them without a bond just for the summons. And when they go to court, they gonna throw the summons out. So they pretty much actually, they gonna release them at 1230 and I'm gonna go pick them up and then I'm gonna bring them back down here. So, in your opinion, is this comparable to, like, a hostage situation versus, um, I mean, like, because it's my understanding, like, if you are arrested, it's, like, because you committed a crime, and at that point, you need to be booked and go to arraignment, but at the point to where, like, you're going to release them and then throw it out, and, like, but you want us to go home, like, or be quiet or something, right? So, like, isn't that, like, negotiating for hostages instead of, like, actually... Well, you know what? After what they did to what was her name, Diamond? Yeah, Diamond. yeah, Diamond. Oh, she was yeah. screaming in the back yeah. of that thing. That that, that pricked my heart, and I mean, I felt I felt uh, I was need, over there crying. Yeah, I felt the need to try to go and say something. To right, somebody. right, right. That's why I did what I did. I mean, I'm I'm a protester. I done been out here beating. I done been everywhere. Uh -huh. You know, I done had to tear gas the whole nine. So uh -huh. I mean, I done been here. But when I seen that happen to her, that that pricked my heart. Yeah. So I was willing to take a bullet or whatever I had to take to try to see what I can do to help her. That's right. You know. That's so right. when I got over there, they had her. Locked up with the book bag. Her book bag was hanging on to her cup. Well, she she didn't have on cuff. She had on zip ties. Zip ties. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they were on super tight. And I'm like, look, can you take this off of her? Because these things is hurting her. The book bag is weighing her down. Her arms are swollen up for y'all having this on her so tight. Exactly. They, they cut it off and bought me her book bag and her phone. Okay. So I'll be going up there to get them. Hopefully, they get released because they said it's 12 30. They'll be getting released. Uh, during Occupy Oakland, we were uh, posting a lot of stuff that talked about how the zip ties um, actually injure you, long-term injuries in your wrists. Um, and that's the reason why they shouldn't be using those because they put them on too tight and they cut off yeah. circulation, etc. Yeah. Um, and then they tend to leave people in the back of the paddy wagons for excessive right. amount of time with the circulation to their hands mm -hmm. um, cut off and things like that, which is a uh, cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, for three ninety nine a month, I can have uh, an ad free channel, but we got to talk about that because uh, I don't make enough. <laughs> so I said, what twelve thirty? Yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you're saying. I'm praying it's not. I'm praying it's not. And that was my thing to him too. You know, I'm like, okay, well, first of all, you talking about that you have to process it, but she didn't even do nothing. She was innocent standing there, and you pulled her out of that crowd like that. So why should she have to go get processed? Why should she have to get something? I'm not understanding that. And even the 75 year old, however, they said she ain't 75, but the older lady got locked up the first time. She was just walking in the street. I mean, so y'all snatched her up in for what? I mean, you could have gave her a, a jaywalking ticket or something. Right, but you don't have to arrest jail, her. Really? I mean, I it's mean, a waste of tax dollars. Yeah, exactly. And you, you would take her to jail, and and somehow she got to get a summons. Right. And she didn't even do anything. Right. No, I, I don't accept that. I don't accept that. So, pretty much, I'm praying that what they saying is true. You know, when we get up here, that they release them. I'm praying for that. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Do you have a um, Twitter or anything where people can follow you or anything like that? Yeah, I do. I don't even know what my daughter has to set it up. She just set it up yesterday. Girl. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I just, you know, I got a lot of people watching from all over, um, and they are interested in, like, not only, like, staying informed, but, like, trying to see what it is that they can do to support from abroad. Because mm -hmm. everybody ain't able to make it, but that don't mean that y'all don't have support. You know right. what I mean? Right. Um, I'm, I'm, like, in California. I get home at 11 o'clock at night, and I'm turning on the stream, like, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> let me sit up for another four hours and watch this shit and tweet about it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so it's like, y'all are definitely uh, making a change. Um, y'all are affecting people in ways that y'all don't even know. And y'all have a lot of support. And all I can say is just keep it going. Oh, yeah, the um, Hong Kong Student March. It looked just like y'all. Hands up, don't shoot, police, riot gear, all of that. But it's the Student March um, in Hong Kong.
And it's crazy because it's like y'all got Palestine and Hong Kong. We had Egypt and uh, <laughs> New York and everything during Occupy. Like we're very connected, but they do their best to keep us segregated so that we can't come together and organize effectively. That's why they tip typically don't hire people of color above the lower ranks so they can keep us starved and uh, struggling for basic necessities so we can't organize, so we can continue to be subjected as a people. You know what I mean? And so I, I, I love to see this and I love to see black youth coming out and being passionate. What, can you just say the Twitter so my people can follow her? Oh, um, can you spell it? S H O N T A Y B E N N E T T. Okay, did y'all get that? Can you say it just a little louder? Shante Bennett, S H O N T A Y B E N N E T T. Okay, thank you. So if you guys want to stay in contact with her, that was her Twitter. Her daughter just came and gave it to me. Um, you guys can stay in contact and get live updates from the ground, um, even if I'm not available or even if none of the streams are available, there's a lot of people here who do hold down space and continue to uh, participate in social media networking. Um, so, uh, live stream, they stay out here with us. Oh yeah, 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 Argus, um, we all work together, but we're different, like he has Argus News and I, I have Bella Echo Media. Um, so, hey you guys, um, I'm about to shut down the stream and take a quick, wait, 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 no I'm not. <laughs> That is a big fucking stick. Like, what are you gonna do with that? I think he might be compensating for something. <sighs> Why do you need that big ass stick? That's how they feel about that nose ordinance. Oh, they don't seem like she's speeding up neither. <laughs> so that was a uh, fuck you um, to that noise, noise ordinance right there. That's what that was. For those of you who didn't know. What I do know is right now, like the parking spots are we blocking. Hey, I'm gonna look at Ghostry uh, tonight and see if I can't download that on my phone and try to stop these ads. I don't want to pay you stream shit, um, but they have an option for ad free if you pay them three ninety nine a month. Somebody can feel free to do that. I'm not. Down. I'm not telling them to do anything. <laughs> they're going to do what they're going to do, and I'm going to film it. I really have to pee. <laughs> You know, so I'm just waiting because they do have that 12:30. We got about 10, 11 minutes. But I do, if people are willing to stay here, I'm asking you to please stay here, okay? So do that's, you want us to start chanting? And um, well, we've agreed at, at 12:30. We probably should. We've agreed to be quiet because of the release. I, I didn't negotiate that. I want to make that clear. But um, let's just try and keep it. Let's give them. 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Okay, so I'm going to shut down and take a 10 minute break because I got to pee. There you go. Okay, um, and we got 10 minutes. I don't know, but um, I'm just saying, if I got to go, I got to go. That's just what time it is. So that's why I keep baby wipes in my purse. Mommy 101. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>